time pro bowler, seven years with the Buffalo motherfucking Bills. Pussies. We gotta put a beat on that right there. Yeah, but don't, but don't let me start freestyling. I'll get this shit crazy. The mic's right there. <laughs> yeah. Buffalo fanatics, straight addicts. Hey. Pull them to let you to see house, and you know we getting at it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Well, if you already don't know by now, you better know. It's the main man right in the middle of us right here, Deion Dawkins, sitting down with Rico and I here at Western Media. Can we, can we pump him up a little bit more than that? Uh, I think you could. Can we pump him up two-time pro bowler? Come on. Big dog. Come on. D-Doc. Iced out. Seven years in the league. Look at him. Don't play. Come on. LT. Deion Dawkins in the building. What's good? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. We got the man Deion Dawkins in the building with us, and uh, this, it's a long day. He's been, he's a movie star. He is. He's, he's been a movie star for some years now. Yeah. Makeup getting done. Yeah. Listen, I saw them Jordans in the in the in, in your in your room, bro. Yeah, them Jordans are clean. Fire. <laughs> did you, did you roll in on those? I, th th those things are the size of a Cadillac. Oh, what you got? Jokes. <laughs> what what you got? What size shoe? What size shoe do you wear, man? Thirteen. See, I don't, you lie. But you can't. <laughs> so what you man, you, are you rocking a size thirteen? Thirteen. I'll show you the tag right now. It's not it, man. We fifteens and up. That's it. I mean, I'm not that in that means, category. That means you get all the good stuff, though, right? Talk about it. You get all the good stuff. Well, listen, let let us talk about it, because year year seven in this game. How does it feel being, you're not the young buck anymore, man. You're a vet. You're a vet vet. How does it feel coming into year seven, being the guy that, you know, they're looking up to? Oh, man, it gets kind of, it's, it's kind of cool. It really is cool. I don't feel like I'm in year seven. Mm -hmm. um, the years are really flying by, but um, I'm blessed. I'm truly blessed. When I came in, I was looking at guys like, Richie Incognito, Lorenzo Alexander, Tyrod Taylor, LaShawn McCoy, Eric Wood, you know, like older Kyle Williams, older dogs, right? And now I'm pushing that tier and it's kind of, it's kind of scary because like, you know, like, like career, like I don't even like want to talk about it, but like I'm pushing that, that, mm. that second to back tier of my, of my career. So um, I understand it. I got to do things to keep myself with it you know but i'm still snow i'm still snow i'm still flowing i'm i'm, I'm still feeling like snow so till i don't feel like snow you'll and you'll see it you'll feel it but right now i still feel like snow we were doing something the other day and i was going through just looking at your stats and stuff i don't know what we were doing but the, it, i saw the seven years and we were just talking and i'm glad you kind of a, you feel the same way we do i, I said to him I, it, there's no way it has been seven years you go back to year one, you're going into year seven. What's different about Dion in year seven compared to Dion mm. in year one? Mm, the biggest thing from year one to year seven, I got more haters than I ever had. <laughs> you know, I got more haters, man. Who's hating on D-Duck, yeah, man? I've never and seen if, that and, it's, and if I have more haters, like, that just means I'm doing some, something right. All right. Like, you know, like, I didn't came to realize that I'm comfortable with myself, right? Yeah. I'm free with being myself. I'm blessed. I'm loved. I'm I'm a man of God, as much as I can be. You know, I try my best to be a man of God. Um, but haters are haters are real. Like you know, like in this world that like that we live in, they want us to be perfect. The world, the fans. I get it, and I understand. But it's impossible to be perfect. You know, like we can't win every game. I like I can't make every block. But believe me, like if you know me, and if you know the other guys on this team, we try our best. We do our best, we try our best, and we shoot to be the best. We never go out there to to make a mistake and make you mad or, oh, you gave up a sack, oh, you had a holding call. I'll be like, bro, listen, dog, like, I ain't perfect. I wasn't brought here to be perfect, and, you know, I wasn't a first-round guy. I wasn't a number one overall draft pick. Like, I wasn't the first one off of everyone's board. Like, shoot, I'm still ch chasing greatness, and – you know, like, but, but like right now I have flakes of greatness, mm -hmm. but you know, I'm still creating the full snowman or if you want to call it a snowball. I'm going to say this, man. Uh, you have a, you have a, you, this, I like analogy talk and you have ways of, of for, to paint a picture for folks yeah. that may not understand what you're trying to say. So you, you paint it and you're like, okay, when you came up with that mac and cheese, we got it. Sure. We understood it. So you talk about haters, you talk about people talk about you, you talk about like, you know what I'm saying? 
uh, that you're blessed. You've been in the league a long time. So you're part of this Players' Tribune, right? I, I, I F with the Players' Tribune, right? But the Players' Tribune comes from reading what's on Twitter, you know what I mean? Feeling the vibe from Bill's Mafia and X whatever. So when you jump on the page and you start flowing, what is it that gets you like what where did how do you get into the Players' Tribune to say, okay, this is my next piece, this is what we're writing about? Love, yo. It all comes from from love and the heart. Like, if I didn't feel it, if I felt like the fans don't deserve it, I'm not gonna mm -hmm. do it. And uh the fans are like they're still on my good side. Like the, the mafia is still on my and good side because I try to tell, you know, people like like I like I know my worth. I know what I am. I know who I am. And there is no other player and that's like me. In the community with people smiling, Facts. friendships, respect, not caring about a blue check, not caring about a sixty million dollar contract, not caring about Pro Bowls. Like I'm just a regular dude and I treat people normal. But you know, like I'm still in that I I love you like attitude. So as long as I got that I love you like attitude, I'm gonna continue to to give this fan base uh everything that I have. And when I don't, like y'all will feel it. Like y'all yeah. will feel it and mm -hmm. I'll make you feel it. And then you'll understand what I'm talking about. But as a and right now, I mean like we still good. We still thumbs up, you know, still thumbs up. I'm so glad you're talking about this because one, I, I didn't know that existed for you at all. Two, if it does exist, they don't know you at all. Of course not. They don't know you worth a damn. Yeah. You see that, and I'm so glad that you recognize that you know yourself over that. Yep. But even that, even with that, this is something that I don't, I, I just, I can't, I can't imagine. The, being an athlete like yourself, it's almost like it's carte blanche to say whatever you want to these guys. You can just say whatever you want. You can't do that to anybody else. But, oh, Deion's an athlete. You can just say whatever we want to him. What's it like having to navigate that type of lifestyle knowing nobody else has to go through that? It's, I take it for, like, what it is, you know? Like, uh, I'm blessed to be in a position that I'm, I'm in, and some things are just going to come with it. Um, it's hard, you know, like, because I'm a media guy. I like the camera. I love the camera. Love it. I love everything about it. TikTok, Instagram, Reels lives everything all like i love it like karaoke's i love it and because i love it it's hard to hide and shy from it mm -hmm. because you're seeing what's going on on that timeline all day long yeah um and to navigate through it you know like like you try to see it the thing and that sucks is like when you see the good stuff you keep scrolling right <laughs> you just keep scrolling and it feels good it feels good but you see it and then the bad stuff but you see it you scroll a couple times and then and then it gets you and uh like i've learned in my career now that i won't be that guy to continue to scroll with the good stuff and the bad stuff i just let it be there and uh if i see one thing i just let it be and then i push it right you know if i see a good thing i know it's a plus and not a minus i push it left you know and i don't add up the plus 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 with the negatives, 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 or the minuses, you know? Because the minuses always seem to weigh more. That's the problem. Of course. Too. You see a thousand good. Yeah. Right? It's always that minus. It's always that one. Yeah, and, always. And the thing about me is I'm so real. I'm so real. I'm so real. As when I do see a minus, I'll be like, bro, like in my mind, I'll be like, I wish that I could just have like a hotline where I could just let you call in and ask me what you want to ask me. Because if you want to know what happened here or why I did this or what happened here with this game or in this game and whatever, talk to me, bro. Like you sitting in, in your basement and you on your couch, fat as hell, eating a bowl, a bowl of ice cream with no wife, no kids, no girlfriend, no nothing. Corny, corny. No pictures, just a profile with zero followers mm -hmm. and you follow me or you follow the Bills and every player there. But you're just ratting, talking, talking, talking. I want to get on a FaceTime with you and let's talk bro and let's talk because i want to know like probably how you really feel and now and that you get the opportunity to talk let's talk it out so i like that let's talk it out because i'm gonna give you a platform you can do that <laughs> right and your know, aaron Rodgers hops on with you know saying kyle brand that yeah uh, they, 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 i said kyle oh, brand aaron Rodgers with Matt. with pat mcafee you got josh out with kyle brand we gotta get Dion dawkins on the buffalo fanatics you got something to say <laughs> the mic is the mic is yours that's up to you if you want to do that but now i want to let's let's flip it to the light side 
Yeah. Right? We don't talk about that. Yeah. Haters and haters are going to be around. For feel sure. me? So, that. two Pro Bowls, yeah. right? You amongst one of the best in the game. Yes. Left tackle is not a joke. You're uh -huh. protecting number 17. 17. I'm watching him. I'm walking him. I'm watching him walk around. He looks a little chiseled this year. Yeah. He looked like he'd been, he'd been extra into the gym. Like, what, what is it like protecting number 17, man? Yeah, pepping his step, man. Pepping his step for real. For sure. Uh, protecting like 17, it's an honor. You know, uh, it's, it's an honor. Actually, in practice today, I was telling him, like, bro, like, you make my life easy and hard at the same time. Like, for a guy like Josh, he's, he's going to get us out of situations. But because he is who he is, when you're in the pocket, just to bring you in the mindset of an O lineman or a left tackle specifically, right? I protect his blind side. So everything that I do, I protect basically from my cylinder. I look at triangles. I'm here to here. Everything here is, is I got you, right? And me knowing that everything that I do is based or anything that I do will affect what he does. Absolutely. I make sure that I do it right or I try my best, right? But protecting him is like, you know, like when he's running around and stuff like that, like I'm protected. I don't know if Josh is coming here or coming here or coming here or coming here. So that could be difficult, but I don't complain because he's, it's more pluses than minuses, mm. you know? So every other play, cool, Josh is doing his thing, jumping over guys, he's close, but fuck it. Like who cares? But it's, it's truly an honor, you know, cause uh, I look at people like Jim Kelly and all these hall of famers and stuff like that. And I'm like, bruh. I'm protecting a Hall of Fame quarterback. Heck yeah, you gotta talk on that vision. Like, like, like I'm protecting a Hall of Fame and quarterback, and I'm his first left tackle. Like I'm his the guy. Way. The like way. I've been his his guy since his career started, and I don't take it lightly. So mm -hmm. because he's that boy, I'm that boy. You know. So like regardless that. of how anybody wants to view it, like I've been his left tackle from his first snap in the NFL. That's like big. to his Unreal. last, yo, that's big, man. Like, yeah. like, like, whatever you want to say about it, I've never got the man. I mean, like, I don't even want to. We don't talk about it. Don't even mention that. But it's just like, like I did what I had to do, which makes him be able to to do what he does. And I don't want no no credit from it. I don't want no credit. I am blessed in many ways. The people love me. I have my swag. I got my snow. I'm cool, bro. Watching him succeed is the best thing for me. When he is on TV and he's doing his thing and he's shining and everybody's all up in Josh's face, I just smile and I'm like, and I walk away. Like, bro, and I'm happy. Like, even looking at him, like, record uh, the uh, the uh, TV commercial, like, I'm looking at him and, and I'm like. It's crazy. You're about like, to bring a tear to my eye. Like, like, like that's, that's and my guy, bro. Yeah. And, and he's younger, so I look at him like a younger older brother but that's my little bro like like that's m and my guy everything that he's doing i'm i steal a little piece of it because i know i've had a part of it and i'm one with four other guys together we're a chain yeah. right like pieces move but i've been blessed that i've been right there ever since and i take it with the most respect the most love the most passion because you know like w when it's all done and when i leave here like i'm gonna get him to to sign something and I'm gonna get it tatted. That's as that's, that's Josh Allen, bro. That's okay. that's that's and my bro. And that's and that's life. And it's real. It's not fake. And that's why I'm so passionate about it. Like that's why this show shit is real. Yeah. Like it's me. It's him. You know. It's all of us. It's y'all. You know. It's both of y'all. Like y'all have been here since day one. Thanks. You know. Since day one. You know. And mm. and and it's been and it's been what it is. Like I got Dan. I got AJ. I got I got just Dishin. Like those boys have been with me. Since day one, y'all have been with, with me since day one. I've been with Josh since day one. I take it with the utmost respect and love. Before we wrap up, I just want to piggyback on that because when you look at the offensive line, it's the immediate correlation to a quarterback's performance. And oftentimes, you are looked at as the, you know, the unrecognized aspect of that game. Yeah. The way you're talking right now about Josh Allen, th this has nothing to do with the, with the game. You can just tell it's got nothing to do with the game. This is just real. This is, that's your brother. How does that, I don't see how it couldn't, but how in your mind does that immediately translate into how you play every snap, just the way you feel about the guy right behind you? But you think about it, right? Like an analogy way, if uh, y'all have children, 
Like I know you have kids. Yeah. Or you have a kid, right? I got four, boy. Four. I got four. Yeah. Okay, but you got kids. Mm. You got kids? Not yet. Right. So just just try to hear it, right? Like you have kids. Like if your kids were your quarterback, how would you play? Right? Mm. If your kids were on the field, if your kids were at a gun range, if yep. your kids were in an MMA fight, if your kids were in a in a rugby match, if your kids were in a paintball game, anything, anything where you gotta protect your people, done. How are you finna act? And and it's gonna show on and off in the field. Every dinner, every wing bite, every blue cheese dip, every toast, every beer chug, every every whatever. Yep. Like like you gonna feel it, and that's just what it is. Like like. I had a chance to birth this this greatness. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I have a piece of that, right? I have a piece of that. It's dope. Regardless of where that career goes, I have a piece. When people were talking about MVP and people are talking about Super Bowl run and people are talking about playoff, 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 AFC Championship game, that's my son. I like Respectfully, that. but not sunning him, not putting him down, but that's my son. That's my dog. It doesn't get better than that. It doesn't yeah. get better. Thank you so much. And just to reiterate, if you're hating on him, you don't know him. Why? No, please hate. <laughs> hey, do it. It's <laughs> clearly it's working. Give him fuel. He wants fuel. Yeah. Hate on that. That's how it be, man. You're a soda bottle. Let's go. Appreciate the time as always, brother.